Listen, here's the thing. If you can't spot the sucker in your first half hour at the table, then you are the sucker. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Chip Episode 3 of Chips and a Chair Poker Chip Vlog. I hope that you're all keeping well and safe during what are still crazy, 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 crazy times. Um, yeah, this year has just been bizarre for sure. And life's been pretty manic recently, hence uh, no new content or upload since Chip Episode 2. I know at the end of that episode I hinted that this episode was going to be about um, new custom chips that I'd had made new uh, custom ceramics in fact um, that episode's coming next because since then something pretty 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 insane and super cool has happened and I felt like I wanted to make a vlog on this first. Um, so yeah, that's essentially uh, the reason that I've got this briefcase in front of me. Um, where to start with the chips that I'm about to show you? Well, I'm checking eBay, Facebook Marketplace pretty much every day uh, religiously to try and find super cool Poker chips, preferably Paulson's, uh, CPC, Bud Jones, anything really that um, people have got that they don't want anymore, which is actually more often than, than you'd think um, in, in the UK. Um, yeah, there are definitely some real gems out there. And over the past year, I've definitely got my hands on a fair few. Missed out on a few as well, which is frustrating. But um, anyway, back to the point. It was super late at night, probably about like one or two o'clock, and I just downloaded a new app uh, that I'd been served loads and loads of, of ads for. So I thought, let's give it a go. Let's see if we can um, if we can find some poker chips on the off chance. So one of my first searches for poker chips, I came across this listing. Well, this listing really caught my eye. The photo um, wasn't the best. I clicked on it and they immediately looked like really high quality clay poker chips, kind of like CPC uh, classic poker chip colors. Um, and then, yeah, I read the description, which really intrigued me. Um, the seller said that they had a set of 1998 Miramax Rounders poker chips. Wow. Wow. Um, like I said, completely caught me off guard, caught my eye. Um, a, I think one other person had asked a question on the listing, which had only been about 24 hours uh, online. So I thought, I don't want to miss out on these. They might be junk. They might be absolute treasure. Um, so I took the chance. I purchased them immediately. The seller sent them. Um, the courier did their absolute best to make sure that I didn't get them. They were delayed for like a week. Uh, when it did say they were delivered, couldn't find them for love nor money. Turns out that they just put them in the garden in the pouring rain. Mr. Son of a Beach. Anyway, I'm not one to uh, slow roll. Uh, super excited to uh, show you guys what's inside. So, um, yeah, let's have a look. Nice case, actually, by the way. Um, yeah, I really like it. Yep. Cartamundi cards. Jokes. Joking. These are rounders poker chips, as you can see in the inlay, made in 1998 for Miramax Film Corporation, 
which was the company responsible for the distribution. Four different colors of chips. We've got the blacks, the reds, grays. And last, but by no means least, greens. These, well, it's a set of 300. So there are, um, let's have a look. Th 50 black, 50 green, 100 gray, 100 red. So yeah, the um, really sort of iconic chips from this movie are the ones from Teddy KGB's place, which is, uh, well, yeah, Teddy KGB is the character played by John Malkovich. Um, yeah, his, well, the chips used at his clubs have the sort of iconic bear design uh, within the inlay. And then you've got some other really, really cool ones from the Chesterfield Club, which is another club in the movie, which is based on a real life poker club in New York called the Mayfair Club. Um, if you want to see the KGB chips uh, in more detail, search for a channel on YouTube from a guy called Adam Savage, who uh, used to build props for movies. He's done a couple of cool, really cool builds recently on poker. Um, one of them is a sort of carry case for the KGB chips, uh, the replica ones that he's got. So yeah, uh, check those out. And we back to these chips. I'm going to unbox these uh, properly um, and yeah, take a proper look and give you guys a bit of background about them. Because uh, yeah, the story behind them is pretty cool. Let's get started, shall we? Okay, as you can see, all that clay goodness unboxed and in its natural habitat. Um, yeah, like I don't know what to say. These chips are absolutely beautiful. They're awesome. Um, yeah, I'm just completely uh, still in shock, really, that I managed to snag them on the complete off chance. Something that really struck me about them when I received them was the condition of them. The guy said they were brand new. He wasn't lying. Um, I'll show you now. They are all like super, super sharp edges still. Um, yeah, they're, they've all actually still got the factory dust on them. Um, not sure if you can see them that well. It's most prevalent on the red ones, I'd say. Um, yeah, which is insane because to me that suggests they've been essentially sitting in that carry box for the past 22 years or so, which is mad. Um, so yeah, the backstory behind these chips, they were made in 1998 by a company called ASM, which stands for Atlantic Standard Molding. Now they were responsible for these chips as well as the ones in the film from Teddy KGB's place and the Chesterfield Club. Um, they've actually been sell selling replicas of the KGB ones for a while now. They're awesome. And then they've recently released replicas of the ones from the Chesterfield Club, which are awesome too. Um, so yeah, uh, ASM became a company called Classic Poker Chips or CPC in, I think it was 2013 or 2014. Um so yeah, knowing that the chips for the film were made by those guys, um, I got in contact with them. I'm quite friendly with uh, one of the people that owns the company called David Sprague, really cool guy, really helpful. Asked him what the deal was with these chips, uh, set of 300. And he told me basically that back in 1998, 30 sets of these chips 30 sets of 300 there yeah, 30 sets of 300 were made for Miramax who like I said distributed the film um, and then yeah they were given to the European film distributors as gifts so this is one of those 30 sets I have never ever seen one of these sets before I've searched high and low on the internet yeah let's go through each chip individually now so like i said um 
it's a pretty basic inlay design it's I'm not sure if you can hear that it's a textured inlay just with the main font uh, sort of logo from the film running through the center and then in 19 uh, at the bottom you've got the 1998 Miramax film core um, the only other set similar that I did manage to find was exactly the same color scheme um, the the same spot pattern but they had a different design on the inlay so it's basically this rounders without this bit but behind the rounders uh, logo it had a fan of cards basically so I asked CPC about those and those were made available to the public on Miramax's website um, and they were made as and when they were ordered uh, I've only found one other person who has a set of those but uh, yeah not even the guys at CPC knew how many uh, are actually out there how many were made uh, back in 1998 um, so yeah that is the the background on these chips basically uh, like I said I feel super privileged to have found them and get my hands on them um, yeah like the colors are awesome and to give you just a bit of information about the chips themselves so these are what's known as the HHR mold or the horse head mold. HHR stands for horse head right. And then it's got one of um, CPC's more basic uh, sort of spot patterns. It's a level one spot pattern. Uh, it's the three one two spot pattern. Um, yeah, which is consistent throughout the whole set. Um, tough to say whether this is a playable set probably for like shorthanded cash maybe I guess you could have these as ones uh, fives, twenty fives and hundos or hundreds um, but that's not really the point with these chips I guess um, yeah I guess they're more of a collector's item I'll just show you each stack up up close um, yeah as you can see um, these chips have got uh, like tiny little brass flakes flex on them which gives them their weight um, yeah I've measured not measured I've weighed these and they're coming in at around about 9 grams uh, 9.1 grams which is CPC's um, standard weight it's not really focusing the green ones there we go that's better you can see the brass flakes on those now tough to pick a favorite color I'm not sure what your you guys think is the best color I kind of like the greens or grays to be honest um yeah like I said I'm not sure if you can see the the dust on these yeah you can see they're more prevalent on the red ones or at least they show up more on the red ones um yeah super super minty super fresh super new um yeah it's just mad that i came across these by total chance um the gray ones also beautiful and yeah this is actually my first interaction with uh chips from cpc um kind of dangerous oh gone out of focus there we go yeah kind of dangerous because yeah, just playing with these. I mean, I'm not going to use them too much. But they just... Oh, they just feel so, so good. When you shuffle them, they're textured. Beautiful. And yeah, um, the horse head mold is actually one of their cheaper ones. And I really like it. I really like the mold. It, it feels awesome and looks cool. Um, yeah, the chips. In comparison to Paulson's, well, I'd say CPC chips are a little bit harder than uh, Paulson chips. And you can definitely feel, feel and hear it. Um, but yeah, they're still really cool, really awesome. 
Um, and yeah, I think after handling them, uh, not that much, but the way they shuffle and the way they feel and look, I'm super tempted to, um, to yeah, get my own custom set. So uh, that is about all she wrote. Um, yeah, just like you can, as you can hear, I'm pretty taken aback by coming across these, like I've said. Yeah, and, you know, thank you guys for watching and your continued support on the channel. It means a lot. If you haven't subscribed, hit subscribe and like on this video and check out my other videos. And yeah, like I said, my next video will be uh, an unboxing and going through um, my new custom ceramic chips. So, uh, yeah, until then, uh, happy chipping and stay safe.